Hey, well, the calendar does say fall, but on the flanks of Mount Hood this morning, it looked like ski season. Cor Harlan visited with snowboarders at Timberline Lodge this morning, where in some places almost a foot of snow fell over the weekend. Among the first into the parking lot for the long haul up to the top of the Palmer snowfield this morning, Southwest like Portland's Matt Abrams and his wife Tanya Shaw. They saw the snow in the forecast over the weekend, so they dropped the kids off at school earlier this morning, and they were here in the Timberline Lodge parking lot just after 9 o'clock this morning, ready to roll. So we're going to skin up and then hopefully snowboard down. So the skins on the bottom of our skis will help protect them and uh, that way we can find the rocks with the skins on and know where to ride on the way down. After a long off season, they had the car loaded with ski gear this morning. They will hike up what they believe to be a groomed trail or under chairlift pilings to the top of Palmer. The hope is to break out of near zero visibility near the lodge and climb into the blue sky they hope is up there somewhere. Yeah, and it's like that up here a lot where you have views out over Mount Jefferson and sometimes down to sisters on a clear day. When you're just up above the clouds. It can be really, really beautiful. The kids stayed in school, but they brought Rosie the dog along for an early fall hike up Mount Hood. And yes, the calendar does say early fall, but as Tanya and Matt found out, and others who stayed the night at Timberline Lodge found out the hard way this morning. Conditions here look more like the middle of winter than they do early fall. At Timberline Lodge, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Well, an unusually powerful September storm dumped over three feet of snow on parts of the northern Rockies over the weekend. This storm started Friday afternoon and it dumped several inches within hours. Some parts of Montana got 40 inches of snow. The September storm reached as far as Idaho and Spokane, Washington. The temperatures are expected to drop into the teens and 20s over the next day, turning it all into ice.